Captain Marvel, directed by too many people, but the main one I'm going to be picking for the main directorial um, credit is Anna Borden, but there's a lot of others that you can look up later. <laughs> Came out earlier in March, which I know I'm super late, but you know what? It's perfect because this is the season for Marvel because you all know what's coming up soon. I'll we'll talk about the end. Starting our very lovely own Brie Larson is the origin story about the character that we all know and love now, I guess, about Captain Marvel that I didn't even know about personally until the movie even existed. It's a nice little tale of going all the way back to the 90s before any of the events of the Avengers even forming in the first place. Here Here's what I think about the movie. Um, I'm gonna try to make it a little quick because honestly there's not really much to talk about. Because the thing with Captain Marvel is that it's not that necessarily it's bad. It, it, there's a lot of stuff that it gets really good and it's really fun to watch. You get things what I first love with that Marvel always gets right. The action, the fun choreographed scenes, the, the amazing effects that they always bring. That never fails. Even in this movie, there's always so much fun. The eye-catching visuals and a lot of the fun that you see with the action. That Thankfully, that you do still care about the characters, even with the, a lot of its flaws I'm going on to a bit, that still make the action really fun to enjoy. And I don't want to make it slang the whole movie is a disaster either, because I know the way I'm talking right now, it... Mainly because my mind's going through a lot of things right now, doing a review again, it's been a while. I'm um, thinking about a lot of the things that the movie did fail in, but it's not that it necessarily failed terribly into anything. Like, it's not... The the stuff, everything that to make a complete solid movie was there, but they messed up a lot in a lot of the regions that were still there. Mainly, one of the biggest parts that I can complain about definitely is, unfortunately, it is most mostly Brie Larson. Yeah, there's. I really do think that she's probably the weakest um, in the whole cast of the Marvel crew in the cinematic universe with all the amazing characters that we've been giving people like my good old lovely <laughs> Lord Star-Lord, um, incredible performances by Elsa Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Chris, he Chris Hemsworth, and Scarlett Johansson, Mark Ruffalo. There's so many people that we all know and love for their respected characters. And then Captain Marvel, though I've read a, a lot about her now trying to you know, understand her a bit, it seems like a really cool character, but... The way they make it, there's just really nothing that makes her stand out, aside from the fact that apparently she's powerful enough to, you know, supposedly have to fight against Thanos, and now in the next big movie, Avengers Endgame. But aside from that, with a lot of the movie, that's why even in the intro, I had a lot of struggles to explain what's really happening, because despite it being really entertaining what they show, and a lot of cool stuff that we get to learn, like, you know, mainly a lot of the movie has a lot of connections with the Guardians of the Galaxy world that we all grew to know. Um, and so they get we get to learn more about the Kree Empire and a lot of the people that we get to understand since uh, Brie Larson's character goes through a lot of with those people and is even uh, parts of brainwashing that apparently had to do that she was working with the wrong side. It gets really interesting. It's not to say it's bad. I know I kind of said a spoiler there, but... I mean, I'm a month late. <laughs> so It's not the worst one, definitely. I don't want to make it sound like that because of the one I'm going to compare it to. It's like Thor The Dark World. I believe that's the one where it's called. Where the best part of that movie, that especially the Thor movies suffered a lot in, is that it didn't have a specific style that really worked for the character. And a lot of the characters were really bland and mostly forgettable at, at their worst. Though they had some very strong moments. But you still got to learn a lot of cool things about new worlds and characters that are in Thor's universe. In, the side of, in his side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But, you know, it's still... Who still remembers Thor The Dark World? Like, honestly, like, that's the last movie you possibly even think about or care to think about when you think about the MCU. And that's really what I feel like when I've seen Captain Marvel. And it's... It's already, yes, been a month, but honestly, even with that, a week after I saw the movie, I just really don't remember much of exactly how it went. I mean, I still remember big highlights, like the big meme, the cat that they have, which was really nice. That was probably one of my favorite things. Um, Samuel Jackson always kicks ass, and that's why I always say that performances, despite having really weak moments, especially with Brie Larson's home, unfortunately, it doesn't mean all of them suck. Samuel Jackson, for me, ironically, a movie focused on a woman, without a doubt, the guy was the strongest part for me. Does that sound a bit sexist? I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> Obviously, right now, it's awesome to build up the hype for Endgame, and yes, that is the main goal of this movie, which it does succeed. There's a lot of stuff that we get to learn more about this world that ends up leading up to Endgame anyway, so, hey, it works out. But, yeah, I think that's really it with a lot of the movie. It's, I, I know it sounded really negative, but I honestly did really enjoy the movie. I still think it was really damn good, and most of the good stuff was there long enough for me, to, for the movie to be saved, so the experience was still more than good enough for me to be satisfied. It's not Marvel's best work, but still, it's not so bad. It's still pretty damn good. I'm going to be real. Well, in conclusion, Captain Marvel is, despite a lot of its flaws and big failures, are mainly, unfortunately, with their big um, casting with um, Brie Larson as the main character. M most of the stuff is still pretty exciting, especially from the action and to many of the characters and performances, such as Samuel Jackson, and it's still fun to learn a lot about the universe and to add up to the big hype, to the big movie, and game. It's still pretty forgettable compared to most of the Marvel movies, but there's still more than enough to keep you satisfied and to enjoy the film. 
I'm going to give Captain Marvel a 7.5 out of 10. It's a little bit more above the solid film. It's a damn good film to me. That's the way I view a 7.5. Well, that's what I think about Captain Marvel, guys. And now I know, I just, I just realized I'm wearing like the worst shirt for this. I'm wearing ACDC. I guess Iron Man likes him, so hey, why not? That kind of works. That's my only excuse. <laughs> I know it, I'm a bit late, but like I said, I'm really happy to be doing it at least in this month and not 3,000 months later because, my God, I can't, is it weird? If, it's really hard for me to believe that it's already been over a year since Infinity War. Or it's about to be a year since Infinity War. It's like yesterday, I went all the way back to my old city to go see all my friends are going to go watch the movie. And we're doing it again, obviously. No way we're letting that down. I've just been talking all day today with my friends saying we're going to pull it off. Anyway, guys, that's enough for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know it's been a while. I know this is very late, but I'm still happy to get it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. What did you guys think of Captain Marvel? I'm honestly very curious. But anyway... Have a great day. I'm actually doing this early for once. <laughs> See you guys.